Hi friends, guess what time it is? That's right, it's story time. Can you guess where I am? Hmm, you know that I'm not home, right? Here, I'll sit down here so you can look around. I'm in South Boston at the library and I'm sitting in the garden today for story time. Are you ready? Me too. Get your Google goggles on. We're gonna wake up our eyes. We're gonna wake up our ears. We're gonna wake up our nose and our toes and our heads. Put your think caps on and our hearts. Boom, boom, let's start. Let's dance our fingers up. Tickle the sky. Now dance your fingers down. Tickle the ground. Now dance them to the side. To the side, to the side, to the side, to the side. Now dance them all around and around and around. Now dance them on your shoulders. Now dance them on your head. Now dance them on your tummies. Ah! <laughs> now put them up to bed. Hey, wake up. You know it's story time. Are you ready to say hi to our friend Pipsqueak? I think he brought a really awesome new book for you today. Hang on a second. Let me see. Pip, are you in here? Let me out. I'm sweating. I'm hot. I don't like it. Oh my goodness. I know. It is sweating and it is hot. And maybe we should think about playing in a sprinkler later. Oh, I don't know. I really don't like to get all wet. Well, maybe we'll have you um, get a nice cool drink. Oh, that's a great idea. I love that idea. Did you bring a good book for us today? Of course I did. It's brand new. Hang on a second. Don't go away. I'm going to get it. Ta-da! Oh, that looks like a super fantastic story. You are going to like this. Enjoy. <laughs> See you later, everybody. There, you can sit down here, Pip, while I work. at getting this story started for the kids, okay? And I'm scooting my chair really close so you guys can see the pictures better, okay? All right, here we go. This beautiful book is called Butterfly Park, and it's written and illustrated by the same person. This beautiful lady, Ellie McKay, wrote this for us and did all the pictures. It's about a little girl who moved to a new home. Have you ever moved to a new home? Were you excited? Let's see how this little girl felt. Come on, let's read it. Ooh. I see butterflies and beautiful flowers. Butterfly Park. Once upon a time, there was a little girl and she was moving to a new town. That made her feel very sad. Hmm, she was gonna miss all the birds that sang in the morning and the crickets that sang at night. But most of all, she was going to miss the butterflies. Turn the page. This is a big picture, isn't it? Can you see that pretty well? She and her family loaded up the car early in the morning and they traveled all day long down and around through the beautiful mountains. And as it got later at night, they pulled up into a dark, dark place where their new home were. It's going to be. And instead of birds and crickets, they heard horns. Beep, beep. And trains. Turn the page. And there was the house. The house was plain. And it was gray. Oh, goodness gracious, everything looked just the same as the other ones. 
And then the little girl saw something fantastic. It was a great big gate. She read the letters B U T T E R F L Y P A R K. It was a park. It was, it was a butterfly park. Awesome. I love that gate. <gasps> Oh, wow, the next morning she couldn't wait to go meet the butterflies. So she set off with a plate of cookies and went straight across the street and opened the gate to Butterfly Park. Turn the page. There were no butterflies there. She waited and waited. She ate a cookie and waited a little bit longer. Hmm, I wonder where they are. What do you think? Hmm, finally she saw one, but it was in her neighbor's yard. So she went across the way and knocked on the door and she met a little boy who said he would help her catch the butterfly. He was a good climber and he had a butterfly net and he climbed up on the tree and he caught that beautiful butterfly and together they took it back to Butterfly Park. But the butterfly flew around and around and then up, up, up and away. It didn't stay at Butterfly Park. Hmm. They needed more help if they were going to bring butterflies to Butterfly Park. So they knocked on everyone's doors and everybody started to get really excited and were watching them and decided to follow them and come along and see what all the excitement was about. Turn the page. Look at this. They gathered some more butterflies and up, up, up and away went all the butterflies, except for one. Can you see that? That looks like a monarch. It sure does. Let's see what happens next. This is very exciting. The children wanted to know where did that butterfly go? So they began to follow the butterfly. Look, more and more people joined in the search to see where the butterfly went. <gasps> Look at this. It took them up and down the streets and through neighborhoods. People watched as they followed the monarch butterfly. Everyone was having such fun and others joined in to the chase too to see where that butterfly was going. Turn the page. The butterfly led them along a winding path up many twisting stairs until they reached the very top. And from there, can you guess what they saw? What did they see? Let's find out. Turn the page. <gasps> Oh my goodness, they saw flowers, of course. We know that butterfly loved the sweet nectar in the flowers. At last, the little girl knew exactly what to do. Turn the page. The next day, she brought some beautiful flowers to the butterfly park. The girl waited, listening to the sounds of the busy town. There was still no butterflies. Hmm. Then when she looked up through the gate, something caught her eye. Can you see it? What do you suppose caught her eye? Turn the page. That's how you find out. You keep reading. 
it was her neighbors. Look at here, they all come. And they had arrived with boots and shovels and gnomes and wagons and lots of flowers to plant in the butterfly park. You see, everybody loves butterflies. And I think everybody loves flowers. Let's find out what happens next. And sure enough, after a little time, they waited. There's a caterpillar sitting on some milkweed. We know you have to wait, don't you? And they waited until one day, oh, many, many butterflies came to live at the butterfly park. There were lots of flowers for them to sip nectar from. This is a beautiful fold out page. I hope you can see it pretty well. This book is magnificent and it's so much fun to read. There, they created a butterfly garden, didn't they? And look, and they also made new friends so the little girl felt right at home. The end. You know, here in our garden at the library, we don't see very many flowers, do we? So I haven't seen any butterflies either. That's kind of sad. So today, I thought maybe I'd bring my shovel. This one's called a trowel because it's for making little holes for flowers. And I brought a whole tray of plants. These are from a place called Jerry Epps Garden and Landscaping in Halifax. So we want to say thank you for helping us start a butterfly garden here behind the library. Yes. One of my favorite things to do, if you knew me better, you'd know I like to make a little bit of a mess and do a little bit of art. So yesterday I had fun making butterflies with my feet, okay? All right, that's pretty weird, right? That's okay, weird is good. So today I brought a great big piece of paper. I'm gonna put my feet on it. My feet need a lot of room, all right? All right, there. And. I brought some paint. I brought, this is kind of a pinky, and there's a blue. Oh, here's hot pink. Love that. And yellow. There's only a little yellow left. There we go. I can put those right up here. Oh, you can't even see them. I can't believe that. All right. And I brought a big pan so I could put my feet in there because my feet are going to get really dirty, okay? All right. Yeah. Dirty feet. And I brought some water because you know I'm gonna need to wash my feet when I get done. There. Have you ever painted on yourself before? It's really fun. I'm gonna do a real simple way, okay? But you can get really, really creative and let other people paint on your feet different colors, okay? So what I brought today was a big pan, okay? Let's use, hmm. I'm in the mood for yellow and pink, okay? My yellow is almost gone. And I'm using a pan from the Dollar Tree. I think you guys probably have a Dollar Tree nearby. And if you don't, you can always just like use maybe a pan that, that's in your kitchen already. But make sure you ask first, okay? <laughs> okay, good. There. So look at what I did. I just squirted some on there. I didn't get real fancy with it. And I always think pink and yellow look pretty superb together. So let's put a little bit of that on there. Let's do some polka dots. I am a polka dot fan. There, 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 and there, and there. That's pretty much pain, isn't it? Like I said, my feet are not little. All right, now, I hope this will work. Remember, uh-oh, I'm new at this, it's still going. I hope you can see pretty good. Because first I'm gonna put one foot in there Let's put my right foot in. And I just put my foot in, and I put it on the paper. Okay, now, woohoo, sweet feet. Yeah, that was pretty good. And now I'm gonna do my other foot. All right, I need to get all fixed up over here. And then you press it on the paper like that. Ta-da, oh, that's not very good. Repress, there we go. That's a little bit better. 
Yeah. Now, when that thing dries, it kind of looks like butterfly wings, doesn't it? There. Now, I gotta tell you, it's way cooler if somebody paints the bottom of your feet for you. But I'm out here by myself, so I kind of had to be real creative and see what I could do on my own. I hope you guys can see that pretty good. There we go. All right, I'm gonna show you a couple I did last night. I had a ball, man. <laughs> I hope you do too. There, here's a bunch of different colors that I stuck my toes in. What's this one gonna be? Oh, that was my first one. I wasn't very creative that with that one. I just used blue. What's my next one? Oh, then I got really crazy and decided to try my hands. And by that time, I put every color I could think of in the pan. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I want you to have fun. And you know what? Maybe you can get some flowers and plant them around where you live or where you'd like to see butterflies. Remember, you have to wait a little bit and wait a little bit more until a butterfly comes and visits your garden. There. I've made a real hot mess now, but you know what? It's super easy to clean up, and I don't mind a bit because I had fun. Yeah! All right, guess what time it is? It is time to say goodbye, and I do believe I have the computer upside down. Maybe I'll turn it right side up. There we go. <laughs> You might get to watch me upside down. I might get to watch myself upside down. And now it's time for us to say goodbye. Show me your hands, please. Close them. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put your hands up high. Reach up for the sky. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Wave to say bye-bye. Bye, friends. See you next time.